Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about implied volatility and its importance when trading options. So implied volatility, it estimates the value of a stock's price overall. Now, when it comes to options, it's specifically estimating the future pricing of an options contract. Now, there are several different factors or components that make up an options contract, and implied volatility is probably the most common factor. Uh, it is based on probabilities in estimates. There are no guarantees. So implied volatility does not predict the direction of a stock. So again, based on probabilities and estimates. Now, typically, the higher the implied volatility, the larger the swings in the options contract, and the lower the implied volatility, typically the smaller swings in an options contract. Now, again, these are typical, right? I'm going to explain the differences between implied volatility and, and rank and in percentile and how to get a, a better gauge with implied volatility. But typically, you become an options buyer when the implied volatility is low. So again, typically under 50%. And you become an options seller when IV is high, typically over 50%. Now, implied volatility is not the same as historical volatility. So historical volatility measures what happened in the past. So implied volatility is not dealing with the past. It's looking towards the future. Now, IV, it's unpredictable. So it's susceptible to news, events, anything to do that can, you know, you know, give good or bad news with the uh, with the price of a stock or economic events and stuff like that. Now, typically, the higher the demand in the stock, it increases the involatility so that the IV will end up going higher, the more higher the demand. And then if there's lower demand, typically the uh, implied volatility will decrease. Uh, time value, extrinsic, otherwise known as extrinsic value, also affects implied volatility. So typically, the shorter the expiration time, the lower the IV. Uh, if you have longer expiration or more time to expiration, typically the IV will be higher. And typically, you know, IV increases in bearish markets and decreases in bullish markets. Again, these are more typical. Nothing's foolproof, uh, but these are kind of your typical scenarios. Now, this is where it becomes very important to understand implied volatility. Raw implied volatility itself does not tell you if it is high or if it's low. So, for instance, if a stock's implied volatility is 20%, that could be high for that particular stock, while another's implied volatility is, let's say, 75%, and that could be low. So if you just have implied volatility on a chart or you're looking at it you know, for that specific stock, that raw implied volatility does not tell you whether it's high or whether it's low. And how you find out the best gauge for uh, you know, whether uh, implied volatility is high or low for a specific stock is you need to look at something called either implied volatility rank or IV percentile. Now each broker is different. They have their own custom codes uh, that you can put on to you know, each broker. Some have it available, some have to like you know, think or swim, you have to get a custom code made, uh, which we'll, I'll show you. We have a custom think or swim code if you use think or swim that you can download. Uh, but do, you know, IV rank or percentile are gonna be your best gauges to, re to find out whether IV is high or low. So just having raw IV on your chart is not going to tell you that. And again, each broker is different. Uh, but, you know, again, IV rank and percentile, they're very similar. They have their positives and negatives, but either way, rank and percentile is going to do much better uh, in telling you the story of whether IV is high or low rather than using raw implied volatility. So now I'm going to show you a couple examples of, you know, implied volatility. 
for a specific stock and then it's IV rank and you'll see the difference. So here is a stock symbol of UVXY, that's an ETF. You can see to the left at the top, the implied volatility is very high, 141%. So that's extremely high raw implied volatility. However, if you look to the right, you'll see IV rank is 25%. That means typically, or that means 75% of the time, the implied volatility is higher than 141%. So that's where you could look. And if you only had implied volatility on the chart, you could be like, oh, wow, the implied volatility is super high on that 141%. Well, it's actually not high for that specific stock because 75% of the time, it's higher than 141%. So that's why having something like IV rank on your chart is so important. Because if you looked just at raw IV, you would get tricked and think, oh, wow, the IV is high on that. When typically, or you know, for that specific security, it's actually lower. So when you're looking at that IV rank percentage, that is, uh, you know, if you look at it, kind of got to look at it when you're doing your percentages. When you see that percent, it's typically you just take it like where you see IV rank 25%. That means again, out of a hundred, this is out of a hundred. So that means 75% of the time it is higher than that, right? So 25% of the time or low, it would be lower. So let's take a look at another example here of Zoom. So you'll see the implied volatility is 91.37%. So that looks high, again, for raw IV. If you look at the IV rank percentage of 65%, that is showing that only 35% of the time IV is higher than 91%. So now you're looking at a higher uh, IV, right? So now you can look and say this IV rank, you almost, when you, when you look at these two together, IV itself doesn't really matter. You can actually just have IV rank or IV percentile on your chart, and that's going to give you a better gauge. So I wanted to show you both together, but you don't really need to look at raw IV at all on a chart. You can just have IV rank or IV percentile on your chart, and that gives you the better gauge. So now when you look at it, you can just look at IV rank and you'll see, oh, okay, that is pretty high because only 35% of the time is IV higher than it currently is. So again, having this code, you know, on your chart, you know, depending on what broker you use is a very helpful gauge and it's, it's more helpful than having raw IV itself on your chart. So again, each broker is different. Some have uh, the ability to, you know, have, you, you don't have to get coast custom codes done. Thinkorswim, if you use uh, custom, you know, Thinkorswim as our platform, we do have an IV rank custom code available, which you can download. So if you go to our website at bullishbears.com forward slash stock market trading, uh, or you can click the subscribe button on our website. If you upgrade to our yearly membership, then you'll get access to this custom thinkorswim code. So all you do is just upgrade to our yearly, and then once you're a yearly member, you can log into our website and download this custom code under our next level library. So again, you know, when you're looking at implied volatility, it is one of the most important factors when trading options but don't focus on raw implied volatility. Make sure that whatever broker you use, you use either IV rank or IV percentile, which will tell you a much more accurate story with implied volatility.